wash over us in, in this way that we've never felt before, God, where we don't allow anything to distract us from uh, making you our dwelling place. Father, we confess to you that we love you. And indeed, we want to stay here in this place, in your presence, Lord.
now transition into a time of intercession for Iraq and Syria. <clears throat> Let's stay in this place of intimacy with the Spirit as we intercede on these different topics. Um, as I pray, I ask that you stand in agreement with me, knowing that God takes this seriously. For when you stand in agreement with me, it's not just my petition that goes before the throne of God, uh, but it becomes a weighty petition of everyone who says yes and amen. Um, so after I release my prayer, I ask that you also intercede on the same issue as the Spirit moves you. Um, at the forefront of the Iraq and Syria news has been the jihadist group called the Islamic State, also known as ISIS or ISIL. The Islamic State's reported ultimate objective is the establishment of a worldwide caliphate, which is a theocratic one-world government that is dictated by the mandates of Islam. The group is well-funded and has been recruiting Muslims from all over the world. For a while now, ISIS, or <clears throat> the Islamic State, has viciously employed torture, terror, executions, and any tactic possible to push forward their position in Syria, Iraq, and beyond. Rebel groups have made inv invasive inroads into this region. So as we pray, let's remember, we're not praying against people, but we're standing up against the spiritual forces of darkness that are moving to steal, kill, and destroy. As sons and daughters of the Most High King, we do not fight with the world's weapons, but our prayers have the divine power to demolish strongholds. Lord, right now we pray for a deeper personal connection with your heart for the crisis in Iraq and Syria. Father, let there be a global reawakening of the church to the severity of what is happening. We declare a holy urgency to be stirred up among your sons and daughters to pray for your kingdom and your goodness to be established in the land. Lord, we also pray for a halt in the recruitment of new Islamic State members. Jesus, won't you meet each person who is considering joining the ranks of the Islamic State and convict them to turn their eyes away. For those who are disillusioned, we pray for hope. For those who are confused, we pray for right clarity. We declare a divine shifting in the hearts of each potential Islamic State member. Show them that there is a life of purpose and everlasting joy that can be found in you. And for those, of, uh, and for those who are already members of the Islamic State, we pray for your truth to shatter every false and perverse ideology. Holy Spirit, break into their minds, into the dreams of every member and reveal Jesus. Lord, let every darkened mind be pierced by the knowledge, glory, and hope of Jesus Christ. We pray for your conviction. We pray for salvations. We pray for your holy will to be done. Let's pray.
next topic is for divine wisdom for world leaders. Um, just on September 5th, the U.S. and nine key allies agreed that the Islamic State group is a significant threat to NATO countries. And NATO members have decided to use their resources uh, to attempt to militarily um, curtail the group. Yeah. So, Father, we, only you understand all the complexities of this conflict in Iraq and Syria. You discern all the key players and components that are at work here. You know what needs to happen to put an end to the violence and political oppression in the region. We pray for your divine guidance as NATO and other global leaders are making decisions. Give them discernment about what strategies they need to use. Give them wisdom in how to employ their resources to establish peace and stability. Lord, you understand all the intentions and motivations that are within the hearts of every world leader. We disallow any divisiveness, confusion, and frustration in Jesus' name. Give the leaders patience and a spirit of cooperation with each other. Lord, you rule forever in your power. So we pray, bring their hearts into alignment with your will. Let's pray. that you are God Almighty over Iraq and Syria. Because you live because of your love for these nations, we know it is your desire for peace to be established in the lands. Your word says that the light shines in the darkness, and we know that it is impossible for darkness to overcome light. We declare the name of Jesus, the name of light and life, to burn away all spirits of violence, hatred, and death. Lord, tonight we take a stand for your freedom to shine into Iraq and Syria. We pray for the freedom to think and choose and to live without the fear of death. We pray every tactic of the enemy will be confounded, that every scheme to attack the civilians will be stopped, that every plan to oppress or take freedom will be confused. Lord, we ask for a blanket of supernatural peace to fall heavy upon the entire region. We pray that every anxious, hate-filled heart will be quieted and that your spirit bring peace to every individual and family. Let's pray.
King Jesus. You are the ruler of every nation, over all rulers. Your name is faithful and true. We declare that your name shatters the darkness and defeats every enemy. We declare the name of Jesus over Iraq and Syria. Open up the spiritual eyes, ears, and hearts of every Iraqi, Syrian, and ethnic minority in the land. Let them tremble at the revelation of who you are, the living God who will judge every circumstance with the justice that flows from your kingdom. Jesus, we pray that every person, whether they acknowledge you or not, will perceive the blazing fire of your eyes upon them right now. And as your gaze falls upon your sons and daughters, let your glory fall upon them, that they will be so filled with supernatural hope and light that the enemy will tremble and flee. We declare that our brothers and sisters will be emboldened and strengthened by the name of Jesus. Let's pray.
burns with a fiery love for Iraq and Syria. And tonight we stand in agreement with your purposes for peace and life to fill the lands. We pray for you to shift the hearts of the global church to intercession. We pray for divine wisdom upon world leaders to bring an end to this conflict. We pray for every individual, uh, every eternal soul who's involved or considering becoming involved with the Islamic State. We declare the name of Jesus, the name above all names, over the cities and over the mountains and over the valleys. We pray that all the we pray all of these things, already knowing that your victory there is complete, that every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that you are Lord. We thank you that you hear our prayers and that your spirit is moving. In Jesus' name. salvation, Jesus. You are our hope. God, in every circumstance, instead of being cast down, instead of just looking to ourselves, Lord, we want to just come before you and confess to you that our hearts and our souls long for you, God, and we need you. And Lord, uh, this is not to say that that we are all messed up for our weak and imperfect, God, but as we recognize these things, Lord, we want to focus on the strength and the victory that you give to us, Lord, that we don't fix our eyes and get um, caught up in just just looking at our weakness, God. But Lord, we, we recognize that you are strength, God. You give us victory, Lord, and there is really nothing impossible for you, Lord. So as we, as we uh, lift up Iraq and Syria, Lord, continue uh, as we continue to lift them up, Lord, we want to focus on your strength, God. We want to focus on the salvation that, that does not fail us, God. So, Jesus, we ask that you shine your light upon us, Lord, that as we just behold you, that we would be transformed in in just in the light of your glory, Father. Lord, as we behold you, that we would be transformed and changed, God. Um, so we fix our eyes on you. We fix our eyes on who you are. And, um, yeah, we just ask that you would continue to reveal to us, Lord, um, these things that we hold on to does not belong to you. So Lord, we, we give you our hearts, open hearts to you, and we confess that we love you, Father, so much. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, I hope that all of you have rested well throughout Chuseok holiday. Um, and uh, yeah, we will continue to have our watches every week, so come on out and yeah, hope you were blessed tonight.